welcome to my channel Fatsy Keto and my friends call me Jelly. This is my channel where we discuss what I eat and what I do each day. I live a keto lifestyle. So if you're new to my channel, I just want to say welcome and I hope you like it. Um, also, I usually don't do the whole subscribe and like, but I think I might just start having to add that in there. Um, my fiance says I don't promote my channel enough and that I need to start doing stuff like that. But I'm always nervous my channel isn't good enough for stuff like that. Like, I don't even tell people I really do YouTube. And not because I'm not, I'm ashamed to be a YouTuber. I would love to have thousands and thousands of subscribers one day and be like, I'm a YouTuber. But, and I'm very appreciative for every subscriber I have. Um, I just feel like I'm not big enough to uh, brag about myself, so <laughs> um, I will brag about myself for the amount of weight I've lost on keto. Um, so far at my lowest, I've lost 177 pounds. Um, this summer I went to Hawaii for a month and it, um, I gained about 7 pounds before I even left on that plane. From the night before, I think it was nerves, anxiety. Um, I ate some nuts, um, some almonds the night before, and so I land. And then I gained water weight on that plane, so I landed eight whole pounds higher than the day before. Um, so I was already starting off at a bad place, um, but I managed to go down to only a, a three pound difference. And then it was up and down, up and down, and then I did the four day cheat thing before, or whatever you want to call it, four day normal diet of sugar and carbs with my fiance to make him happy because he did um, the other 20 something days with me of um, keto. So, yeah. So I've been home, this is day seven I think now, being home, trying to get the trip water weight off, which ended up being, um, if I go with my lowest weight before I ever left, which was 191, I think, or 190, somewhere around there, um, I would have put on 15 pounds. Um, but because I was only that weight for a day and I didn't stay there, I'm saying my lowest that I've stayed is around 192. So, 193 mostly. So right now, I'm trying to at least get back to 193 where I started the August month challenge at. Um, so I'm hoping to get there on the morning of the 22nd, which would be um, my weigh-in for the seven days since the last weigh-in I did um, for the challenge. Um, and if I can at least get back to where I started, that will give me a week to at least lose some weight um, before the month's over. Um, making me a coffee real fast. This is my first coffee of the day. Well, I don't know. Okay, so how last night went was I went to bed, really sleepy, not feeling well. And then I slept for like three hours and kept fighting to go back to sleep and toss and turn for hours. So around 5 a.m. I came in here. Um, and I'm going to stop right this second and insert um, the video of what happened when I woke up. Okay, here is an example of a snack or meal um, when I've eaten only a few carbs during the day. I can also include this into my day. So. It is about three carbs of homemade um, ranch dip. Less than a carb because it's um, less than a carb per ounce and this is only um, 0.8 ounces of the smoked Gouda cheese. Zero carbs for my celery. I've weighed everything out by the way. Um, then I have one carb worth of um, cucumbers. I have four carbs worth of carrots. I usually wouldn't add the carrots because they're so much higher, but, um, and this ain't in a carb, the broccoli. It's a tiny little piece of broccoli that I'm going to try to eat. I never eat raw broccoli, so we will see. 
Um, but I decided the carrots were making me feel much better when I've been eating them lately. So I've been trying to do about three or four carbs worth a day. So this is two ounces of carrots, which I will be putting some carrots and stuff in the soups I will be making um, soon as well. I will be making them tomorrow. But all I had today... Um, I don't even remember what I had today, but this is um, a good keto option for snacks, for a meal, um, when I really didn't eat that much today, literally, so this will be my, it's, okay, I had the two sausage dogs, so this is going to be added to the beginning of Tuesday's video instead of the end of Monday's. Monday's already pr published and it is technically Tuesday morning. It is just so early. It's insane. I think it's like 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. and I have not gotten much sleep but I cannot fall asleep. I have been struggling for the last couple hours to fall back asleep and I can't do it and I am hungry and I don't feel well and it could be possibly because I did not eat enough yesterday. I only had the two sausage dogs, um, a little bit of pork rinds, and two coffees. Um, oh, and the little piece of cheese I had as well. And that is it. So I think I did myself wrong by not eating enough. And I notice when I don't eat enough, I have serious trouble sleeping and staying asleep. So I'm going to have this for breakfast. Um, it's crazy early, so I guess this belongs on this video anyways. To me, it doesn't because it's dark outside. It's weird. Um... And hopefully I can fall back asleep. That's why I didn't want to do like eggs and stuff like that. Because I want to go back to sleep. And anything I eat with a bunch of fat in it, it gives me too much energy and I can't sleep. Um, and yes, the Mountain Dew does not keep me awake. I know y'all are all like, there's caffeine in there. I have been drinking caffeine since I was three years old. And caffeine itself does not give me energy and does not keep me awake, sadly. Because I've been drinking it my whole life. Um... But yeah, so I will let y'all know if I ever fell back asleep, and I will do more videos as the day goes on. Okay, as y'all saw, I ended up having a little snack. Well, come 7 a.m., I was still wide awake, so I started moving stuff out of the room I want to paint. Um, come 8, still wide awake, so I ended up making me coffee. Um, I guess the heat of it finally made me sleepy, so I fell back asleep around 9 a.m., and then I woke up. Again, around 1, and it's 1.48 now. Did my makeup and hair a little to try to come do this video. And now I'm having my first collagen coffee of the morning. Um, so, my weight, I won't tell you what the numbers are, but I'll tell you this. It only went down 2 ounces from yesterday. So, was it from the sour cream, because sour cream seems to stall me or make me gain weight, was it from the carrots or the vegetables? Or was it just because I ate outside my window? Is it because my sleep was all messed up? Is it because I didn't eat enough calories and fat yesterday in the actual hours? Because 5 a.m., some people get up at 5 a.m. So to me, that belongs to today, not yesterday. But it does affect my weight because I do weigh in at 2 p.m. each day. Um, at least right now I do because that's when I've been waking up because it's Hawaii time still. Can't get off of it. Um, so, which was it? <laughs> at least I went down two ounces. So, going down actually made me happy instead of stalling or going up. Um, and that's the thing. On any diet, all these things can affect it. Um... And the type of body you are. Are you stressed? Um, it, how's your hormones? Is it that time of the month for you? Um, and I've been breaking out from getting off the carbs. That happens a lot to me. If I um, do a cheat day, the next week or so I'm going to start breaking out. Um, it's like the sugar is trying to escape my body through pores. I don't know. But, um, so everything could have played a factor in me not losing more because I've been doing steady losing really good a certain number every day almost um but it was only two ounces last night I think it was from eating outside my window to be truthful um 
I and maybe not eating enough yesterday I don't think it was the little veggie tray and sour cream because I've been eating those for a few days now and so far I've been losing weight every day I don't think once I get all the water weight off though um, I will can be able to continue to eat the sour cream and stuff we will have to see that is something I had to cut out of my diet before um, over and over again sometimes I can eat it sometimes I can't it, I don't know but if I have a lot of water weight on I can eat dirty like that and different things like that and and yes it's dirty because it's a ranch seasoning with maledextrin in it and dextron and a few other things so um, it is considered dirty keto just for the ranch alone of course the um, cucumbers and stuff is not dirty keto it's as clean as you can get um, but when I add the other stuff it becomes dirty so when you are stalling or you're losing weight very slowly or going up you have to examine everything okay sleep plays a huge factor in this okay so it could just be my sleep not getting good sleep can stall me out completely and even make me gain weight because it changes the hormones in your body um, stress does the same thing so you have to look at everything that's going on and that's why I weigh every day even though this month I haven't been telling y'all my weight every day which I promise I will start again on September 1st um, I still weigh I still keep copies like track of it and I still pay attention to what I'm eating otherwise I don't if you you don't have to weigh every day it drives some people crazy but if you are someone who is sensitive to food, who really wants to learn the science behind everything that goes in your mouth and what it does to you and what you can clearly eat um, without it affecting you, then I suggest you weigh every day. And some people might be going, oh no, you're crazy. No, I'm not. Because when I get to my goal weight, okay, that's over 50 pounds away still. Um, by the time I get there, I would have lost over 225 pounds. I don't want to have to weigh everything out still all the time and track stuff in an app um, any longer to maintain my weight. So if I do it during my journey, I am learning. I can eyeball and know what two tablespoons of whipped cream is and it is almost 100% completely right because for two years, I've measured and figured it out. My brain has learned. I can almost look at a piece of meat and tell you how many ounces it is now. I can tell you that even sugar-free ketchup gives me heartburn, swells my stomach, and makes my weight go up for a day or two. So I know when I get to my goal weight, I don't want the sugar-free ketchup. So, to me, it's like I've been learning things about my body for almost two years now and knowing at the end of the weight loss part of my life how to maintain it, how foods affect me. When I'm that skinny, foods might affect me differently. I, my list might get smaller or my list might be bigger that I can eat. Um, but... I want a general idea of if you put a raw tomato with the seeds in your salad you're gonna gain weight girl like five pounds but if I leave it out and I don't put the bell pepper any either but I can have like um, those mild peppers the banana peppers I'm fine no weight gain none I can lose weight so I've learned that for some reason bell peppers can stall me out and tomatoes now I can have certain tomato sauce and be just fine so it's raw tomatoes and it's bell pepper um, but other peppers I'm fine with and tomato cooks certain ways I'm fine with but I'm not fine with it in a sugar-free ketchup form and I've tried it all different ways um, and it could be because I suffer from severe severe heartburn that has just never gone away in my life um, and certain things swell my stomach it made the heartburn worse and the way a tomato is cooked or the other added ingredients affects me 
so that could be a big issue it's kind of weird I can have um, one fourth cup of Walmart's pizza sauce that they make and be perfectly fine but I can't even have a tablespoon of any ketchup so far and I have tried them all I've tried even the ten dollar bottle ones and it's just I've lost my taste for the ketchup anyways because it's always made me sick so there's that I want to know I want a heads up by the time I get to the end of things I know for sure that they affect me and even if ketchup all of a sudden didn't affect me anymore I've gotten so used to the taste of not having any kind of ketchup that I wouldn't want to waste any kind of carbs at all on my ketchup now um I really love the mustard and I'm really happy right now it is not stalling me out but once again I will not know for sure until all the water weight is back off once all the water weight is back off then we're going to see what stalls me out and it's gonna have to go bye bye for a while um chicken thighs the other night they made me very sick like really bad heartburn really nauseous um and I didn't really eat chicken thighs but a few times while I was there because I hated dark meat before keto um, and he hates dark meat so we kind of skipped it a lot but now that I'm trying to eat it again it is causing me to stay up almost puke during the night um, the heart burns horrible and I know it's from the chicken because I can taste the greasiness and the nastiness during the heartburn and it's just so I'm going back to my chicken breast party for a little while um, it's best for me I have a, a lot of boneless skinless chicken breast like tonight I am hoping to do a soup and it will be inserted in this video if I do it because I will record me doing it I really need to do it before the veggies go bad um I've just been working on the house so much by the time it's time to cook I'm too exhausted to do it um so and I need to read up on the ninja how to use it it's still in the box so I need to do a video of that too I was gonna do a video of unboxing it but this sucker is so heavy and so big I'm gonna need to pull it out and put it on the counter before I even start a video or y'all gonna see me struggling like a crazy person trying to get it out of the box um, yeah we'll discuss how big this thing is too I'm hoping I can find space to put it um, I don't think it's gonna fit while I was hoping to stick it so we will see but back to the keto part of it all the whole thing I'm getting at is if you really want to know what the foods you are eating is doing to your body and your diet pay attention to how it makes you feel how if your stomach swells and pay attention to the scalp which means you're going to have to weigh every day if you want to take this from a scientific point of view and figure it out otherwise I mean I don't know I don't think I could have done this weight loss journey without weighing every day um, it kept me on track I liked seeing the numbers go up and are down and when they did go up and they did for four months straight they went up almost 30 pounds last year from October to January um, it did upset me greatly and I couldn't figure out why but I was doing dirty keto with um, low carb wrap um and I wasn't paying enough attention I thought I was cut you know I was like I'm under 20 carbs and at that time I was weighing and paying attention to the foods about like, well I'm under 20 carbs and then then I realized I couldn't have any of the bars and then I was like oh my gosh I can't do net anymore I have to do total and it helped me figure out that um and then after that I got even more in tune and started researching more and learning that um, if you have a sensitivity to food it's gonna make you gain weight because you got inflammation going on in your body I started really researching all that kind of stuff and paying attention and and taking it as uh, let me pay attention to exactly what each food does to me I was doing that with meats I was doing it with cheeses I was paying really good attention to all those kind of foods and nuts um, but because I had to say goodbye to my peanuts. I love my peanuts and I would use all my carbs just to be able to eat my bold peanuts, but it was stalling me out big time. My body does not like peanuts, I guess. Um, so, and there were some other sugar fruit candies, um, but over time you learn what you can and can't put in your body and 
for a while I ended up having to go really low calories and that did, I couldn't last more than 30 days doing that one um, right now I will be honest I'm not sticking anything in my tracker right now until the weight the water weight is off um, and right now I'm doing just fine other than today only losing two ounces I'm doing fine about bringing it down without having to track I usually use my carb manager but I didn't use it while I was in Hawaii because it got a little crazy down there and it was so hot I just there were days I didn't care and I was drinking Code Zero and Code Zero I gain weight no matter what so it doesn't matter if I'm being perfect keto it doesn't matter if I'm eating ketovore with only salt and pepper and all fresh ingredients that I cook for myself. If I add Coke Zero to the mix, I will gain weight. Always have, always will, but Mount, Diet Mountain Dew does not do the same thing to me. Neither does any of the stevia drinks. Neither does um, any of the orange diet drinks. Basically, if it's got a caramel color tint to it, I can't drink it without gaining weight. So... I don't know <clears throat> and I don't know about diet Dr. Pepper or any of those kind because I don't like cherry so I'll never try those so I'll never know if I could get away with those dark drinks but you know for coat zeros and stuff like that it's no go for me but I'm gonna let y'all go right now I'm going to get out of my pretty shirt get a tank top on because I got more crap to do um, I am missing my bracelets, but because I'm afraid they're going to get caught on something or I'm going to start washing dishes and forget because I don't want them wet, I've taken them off. I do have my ankle bracelet on. Um, I have to say one thing about the ankle bracelets. One, I hate that it's a mystery because what if they send me the same one again? Or what if it's an ugly color that I cannot stand and then I'll get upset? <laughs> like, um, so I can't order any right now and I really want to, um but the one thing I don't like about it you know how whatever size it is you put on your wrist um, that's what it goes to and then you just roll it back off well the anklet's a little harder first I was dumb I put it on after I got off the plane so there is about this much of a difference in size when you pull it like touch it away from my body and not let it dangle because I was that swollen so that was my fault but Every time I take it off to take a shower or to get in the pool, it stretches it a little. No matter how much I angle my foot, it just seems to stretch it when I try to take it off. And when I'm sleeping, it seems to roll up um, because I don't want to take it off so much because it stretches. It rolls up onto my calf and stretches it that way too. Um, so these things stretch out really far if you roll them up and down. But the problem is, when it comes to the anklet, it does it too much because your feet do swell during the day. Your, I won't shower with them because I'm afraid it's going to mess them up. So, and when I'm sleeping afraid to take it off, like I said, it's going up. So that one's a little bit of a doesn't fit right kind of deal. But the bracelets, I love the bracelets. They fit fine, taking them on and off does not hurt them at all. And my battery is blinking, telling me to shut up. I've talked enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go. Change, go do that and charge this battery now, I guess. Oh, and drink this coffee. I am dying for this coffee. It is 5 p.m. All I've had so far is my collagen coffee and two slices of bacon, and I am starving. I didn't sleep well, so I'm having this as a snack because later tonight I'm having steak, and tomorrow I'm going to make the soup stuff. Um, but the steak is starting to go bad, so it needs to be eaten tonight. But, as you can see, I just have a few, not even a quarter ounce, except this one's probably an ounce, but the rest of these, I get them to cut as thin as possible, and it's like two pieces of each one. These three together equal about an ounce. Um, and I'm having less than an ounce of my cheese and then a couple of olives and some mustard. So this is just to tide me over until 7 or 8 when I actually eat dinner. I'm going to make me another coffee in just a little bit as well. But yeah, so I'm going to go eat this while my daughter cleans her room. And then I'll probably go to Lowe's and pick out some paint. I picked out the colors I want and I will show you all when I go to paint the room. Okay, it is 8.30 at night and I'm making dinner for me and my daughter. So far I've had two collagen coffees and that little 
snack plate y'all saw me with earlier. My daughter's eating some protein bars. Oh, she wants me to show y'all. Not bars. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Low balls, whatever they are. Um, these are way too big for us. We will not be eating the whole steak, but they need to get cooked. And this has got some mushrooms, both peppers and onions. It's mainly for her. I might eat the mushroom part. She's also going to have some um, black and peppered um, Brussels sprouts. And I'm not sure what I'm having with mine or if I'm just having it by itself. But I will let y'all know when it's all done. This should take at least 20 more minutes so we won't be eating until 9 tonight. Tonight's been crazy. Okay, as you just saw what I am cooking for dinner, I will show you what I actually eat and that and what she actually eats, that little plate put together. When it is done, it is still cooking. I decided to come over here and drink some more of my coffee um, and talk to y'all for a second. So that way y'all don't just look at food while I'm talking. So, one moment. Hey, sorry, that was my crazy baby. Yeah, so me and my daughter has been working on her room again today. We didn't get too terribly far yesterday. She ended up getting really sick and nauseous and throwing up and all that great stuff. Um, so it's almost finally done. This kid had too much stuff. The rooms are small in my house, unfortunately. The two, the master bedroom's a good size, but the other two room, like the YouTube room is eight by nine and her bedroom I think is nine by 11. And it's a small closet. I live in a single wide trailer. Yes, it's a newer one. It's only three years old, but it's still a single wide trailer and the rooms are still very tiny. And for me and her, it's good enough. Um, just not for all her stuff, it's not. It doesn't really fit. So um, she went through and got rid of tons of clothes that she's never gonna wear, um, and they're all crazy size, or she wore them out too much and they were her favorite, so wanted to wear them again, and I'm like, no. Not three years in a row. They have beatings all over them, they have little tears between the legs, no. We got you plenty of leggings and different things for three dollars a piece at Walmart and some other places. You don't need to be wearing those old things even if you love them to death. So they're gone now. Um, we got rid of a lot of toys that she doesn't use anymore and just stuff she was keeping like old paint that won't even work anymore. So I'm really happy about that. We pulled everything almost completely other than the closet of the YouTube room. Right now that's staying full because it's all my Christmas stuff. Um, and I don't know what to do with it just yet, <clears throat> but my living room is unwalkable. Like, there's this tiny little path because everything that was in that small room is in my living room now. And trust me, it was a lot. It was a TV and game stations and um, a thousand DVDs, which I gave my dad most of them. So I'm down to under, under, I don't know, a couple hundred, that's it. Um, just tons of stuff everywhere. Can't even get to my couch. It has blankets and pillows all over it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to show y'all. It's horrible. I can't even do get my ninja out and show y'all it right now because my counters are covered in breakables and stuff that was in the other room. But when it is done, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be thrilled because I can, will be able to film in my kitchen. I will be able to film right here if I feel like it on my porch because it's starting to get cooler. Yes, I am sweating because I just took um, the DVD stands down to my mother's house, carrying them like this, one on each arm, and they're they're pretty tall. Um, she was getting on to me thinking I was going to hurt myself. All I did was manage to make myself drench in sweat, so I'm going to need a shower soon, but I still got more cleaning to do, so the shower is going to wait. Um, and I'm cooking. So, and anytime I do any kind of activity, I just break out in a horrible sweat now. I didn't used to, um, but I do have an adrenal gland issue, so I'm thinking it's from that. I don't know. But like I was saying, I'm going to be thrilled because I will have a setup in a bright, beautiful room. Um, I'm taking, I don't want to spend any money other than the paint right now for that room. So I am, and I want to redo my bedroom in the future. So I'm going to take all my bohemian stuff out of my bedroom. Um, and I have a lot of it. I have art. I have um, blankets. Um, but the room has got 
elliptic and all kind of stuff in it so it just never really felt the way I wanted it to feel so we're gonna take the stuff out of it and we're gonna turn the YouTube room into the perfect small little bohemian room and I'll be able to film in a nice bright space and sit on a bed that's gonna look like a couch I'm gonna try to find a space in there to put a little table and chair too for when I want to display stuff and talk about it instead um so I'm really excited about it and I'll be able to keep my lighting and a tripod up in there and not have to move it around the house all the time or trip on it. Right now it's been staying here because it's the least um, tripping area for me to have all this set up other than when I try to make coffee it is a little bit of a pain in the butt but I just work around it. Um, but we are cooking dinner and hopefully it will be done soon because it's almost nine and we are starving. Time totally got away from me. Um, but my daughter has decided, she's about to be 14 on the 1st, um, that she wants to go full keto with me. So after her birthday, we're going to do that. Um, I promised her not to air any of the videos until she's a month or so into it. But we will be doing weigh-ins and taking progress videos and pictures and, and measurements. Um, and when she is comfortable, I will be inserting them into my channel. And then she will actually start talking on them more later too. And so, but I'm giving her a chance to be comfortable with it. She just wants to make sure she can lose weight. She doesn't want to record failure. Um, and she did really good before, so I think she'll do good this time. Every time I go on vacation is when it goes bad because her and my dad hits the fast food <laughs> over and over again. Um, and the Cracker Barrel and she lights the chicken and dumplings and that's a lot of carbs. So, mommy's back for at least six or seven months. So, yeah. Um, but she loves the cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and asparagus with bacon and spinach. So, when you, I will show y'all probably every night still what she is eating along with my food. She might even say hi sometimes. Um, you will see that she's going to be eating all those vegetables. I am going to have her, um, because she's ate them all her life and they do not make her sick or bloat her stomach or anything. So I'm going to have her follow more of a Dr. Berg's kind of keto. One that I do not follow because it does not work for me. I do not agree with it for me. I think if you can eat the seven cups of vegetables, go for it. I think that's healthy, but I can't. But hopefully she can because I don't want her taking supplements. I don't want her having to do magnesium and potassium and all that kind of stuff. She's going to get her potassium, especially from she can eat salmon and she can eat um, lots of chicken breast. She loves chicken breast. So she's and different red meat. So she's going to get her potassium from me. I'm not worried about potassium. People forget how much you get from it, especially since me and her are going to do high protein um, keto. So. A lot of people don't do high protein, so they don't get the amount of potassium they really need. Um, so they do supplements, or they just do it to make them, it makes them feel better and they get what they need because they can't get from food or something. I don't know. But I've never done a potassium supplement. I've never needed to. My potassium's always been a little high. Um, so I'm going to make sure she gets her magnesium and all that and sodium and all from foods. I really don't want to have to give her any supplements, especially with her allergies. Um, but I'm going to go turn that food. I've been talking awfully long. I'll be right back. So the food is definitely not burned because I forgot and we started the microwave. At the same time, we had the griddle going and an indoor grill. And I forget when I have all three going, it pops the circuit breaker. So the whole time I've been talking, nothing's been cooking. So I'm going to go watch it and remember not to do the microwave until the other stuff is done. Um, I keep forgetting they're on the same circuit. They're not in the same area of the kitchen at all. So I guess the whole kitchen's on the same circuit or something. I don't know. Um, but it's very irritating. And I can't use my oven at the same time either. I'll pop it. So, because we're just doing microwave Brussels sprouts, the green giant one. No bluebird bird's eye bird's eye i think it's called um she likes those i've never cooked brussels sprouts i'm gonna get some recipes and figure out like i'm really good at seasoning stuff but i've never cooked something before then i don't know like what do i do 
So I kind of read up and figure out some good recipes and figure out the technique of actually cooking them in the oven. Um, I'm going to make some green beans tomorrow. I definitely have no choice but to make the chicken soup tomorrow. So y'all will be seeing that um, video. But everything's cooking now. I hear it sizzling. So, as I was saying, she is going to do keto. We will insert her when she feels comfortable. Um, and it's not that she doesn't feel comfortable being on camp. She does her own silly little TikToks and YouTube stuff all the time. Um, and art stuff. And she has her own Instagrams. Um, <laughs> it's just because it's, it's a weight loss cha channel. So, And she gave me a lecture today. <laughs> okay, she's about to turn 14. She gave me a lecture that my thumbnails aren't good enough. My titles are dumb day six in hawaii day six back from hawaii that they're not catchy enough i need to come up with better catchy titles i need more hashtags i mean more assignment and yeah she wants her mommy's channel to secede and she's trying to help me figure out how to do it because yeah she watches a lot of youtubers i mean that kid has been millions of hours watching YouTube about all different kind of things so she should know if I'm messing up or not she's pretty good at that part so um so, so I need to get better titles and she's right I agree with that I have no clue what to call most of my things so I come up with day six day seven blah 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 it's like by the time I'm done for the night and I am editing them um, because I have to do it before I go to bed because the internet's so slow that I'm pretty exhausted and I can't think of good titles. So maybe I need to stop recording sooner during the day and come up with some better titles. Um, or come up with titles beforehand. I have made some um, that I want to do. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on better thumbnails and better titles and more content. So. 13 year old almost 14 telling me how to fix my youtube channel but yeah <laughs> i'm gonna drink this collagen coffee go finish cooking i will take a video of what we actually eat and our plates um and then i will come back in just a little bit and maybe i can have a catchier title for today's video how a 13 year old hmm so maybe something like that maybe how I don't know she's telling her mama that it's not good enough I don't know <laughs> but I'll be right back okay I'm going to show y'all what my daughter is eating I start to put mine together she's got almost one whole steak in here she is starving she didn't really eat today and she's got the mushrooms onions and bell pepper she's got some Kerrygold butter and her salt and pepper Brussels sprouts and this will be her dinner um remember she's not I'm um, used to doing keto, so this is hers. Oh, and she wants to show you the water she's about to drink. Here you go, honey. Okay, I want to show you the size of plate I'm using. So this plate underneath of it is almost the size of a normal plate, a little smaller. Um, but as you can see, this little plate is shaped weirdly. It's not nearly as big at all. It's... um really actually kind of small. I only know how to explain it. It's the smallest plate I eat on. Um, it's a new one I got. It helps me do portion control even better. But I have some steak, tiny bit of mushroom, some onion, bell pepper, um, a half ounce of that Gouda smoked cheese, and a tiny little salad with one stick of um, cucumber in it and a tiny bit of ranch dressing and some Parmesan cheese on top. And that's going to be my dinner. Okay, welcome back. It is now 10.30. I've eaten my dinner. I did not actually eat any of the salad. I took one bite of it. It tastes like crap. Like, tasteless. So, why eat it and make my weight go up? Why eat it and feel like crap? I probably shouldn't even put it on my plate in the first place. But if it tasted yummy, I wanted to eat it. And it didn't. So... All I ate was my steak, that little bit of um, cheese, and the tiny bit, he's on the phone, so you might hear him. 
um, and a little bit of that onion mushroom bell pepper and sometimes bell pepper does stall me out so we will see but I'm still getting off water weight and it doesn't seem to stall me why I'm getting water weight off only when I'm trying to actually lose fat so we'll find out tomorrow um but it is late I'm extremely exhausted so I'm about to put this video together and then upload it while I'm sleeping tomorrow morning will be the 21st so not tomorrow because I'm doing seven days straight but the next morning I will be weighing in and actually letting y'all know what my weight is so on this challenge so far I've done crappy I weigh more than I started so I'm hoping this way in I will at least be where I started not really sure yet but hoping and then it'll give me a week to at least maybe lose a pound or two I don't know we'll see I'm sucking on it um I'm gonna insert in this video some pictures of um, my bracelets I got in case Keto Diamond watches this, she wanted to see my bracelets. I've got a few more coming in the mail, and I'm going to send her some pictures, too, when the other ones come in as well. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to insert my Shasha bracelets. I probably am pronouncing it wrong. Um, right at the end of this. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so these are the bracelets I have. This one stretched a little more because I originally gave it to my daughter, and then she gave it back because I ordered her some dark ones. Um, I wear these ones together on my right hand, this one with my Fitbit on the other one. Um, hold on one sec. And this one is the ankle bracelet. So, it shows me what some of these bracelets would look like. Um, because it's like tons of different designs. So they're all really pretty and it shows me in the future what I might want to order. I don't like that it had red and green on this. I think it doesn't match. The same with the, the yellow and white's okay. It's not one I would ever buy. Um, but these other ones are really pretty. And once again, they put out a new one today and I missed that one too.